In nearly 10,000 book titles from some 150 publishers, China came under the spotlight in this publishing and cultural capital of the world as the 2015 Book Expo America opened. It is only the third time, after 29 in Frankfurt, Germany, and 2012 in London, Britain, that China has been made guest of honor at a top-notch book trade fair held in any major Western country. As the Expo guests of honor, China will launch a series of activities to make BEA the largest China-U.S. publication exchange activity held by the Chinese publication industry so far. It provides a great opportunity for Chinese exhibitors to present the Chinese publishing industry, improve international copyrights, and help Chinese books and Chinese culture to go global. This year's event also marks the largest ever exchange between publishing professionals of both countries since China and the United States established diplomatic ties in 1979. What is interesting to us about this is that books and the reading of books and, and what that generates is a, is, a, is a wonderful path for us both to be walking on together uh, as part of the process of really getting to know each other. I think uh, we have to differentiate between the business world and the average American person. The average American person likes to read narrative, something that tells a story about China. The business people are interested in everything that takes, uh, talks about the economic development of China. And uh, we have just finished a book, uh, Global Game Change, in which we, for example, describe China's role as a game changer in this world. So this is very important on a, on a business side, but also the expo can touch the heart of the people. Apart from books, China is also bringing more than 500 publishing and cultural professionals, as well as writers, to New York City to represent their work. The activities include panel debates, professional programs, and author and cultural events. To see and understand a society, an era, and generation of people through literature is quite a unique experience. It's not just economic numbers, and it's more inspiring than watching television programs or movies. So I hope through this event, more people can understand China. The BEA dates back to 1947 and is usually held in a major U.S. city in late May or early June. It is known as the world's largest event, showcasing books in English, as well as the most influential annual international book fair in America. Shen Li, CCTV.